Welcome back guys, Automotive Inc. here. So we today are replacing some more expired plastics on the Chevy. So the big guy had some areas where, you know, it's Colorado, we get hail all the time. The plastics get old anyway, they get brittle. This thing's broken all the pieces. So let's take a look at it. So we're gonna replace this piece, this piece, uh, new wiper arms, you can see they're all faded. Again, Sun is the destroyer. They're just ugly, they're detracting. You can see right here. Now there's like a thousand to one different ones online that you can order that say they might fit this truck. I'll give you the specific part number for that. I got it out of a wholesale GM place out in Georgia and it was about 112. And then these rubber pieces, they were super cheap, got them off the Zahn, I'll link them in there too. The process isn't all that tedious, but I can tell you this much, this is all just wax, I was waxing the other day is you can try and repaint these but um, spray paint guys just if unless your surface is just perfect there's not a lot that the that the spray paint's going to look good on so it's always going to have fish eyes it's always going to have weird texture and stuff now there's some guys out there i'm sure they've painted stuff great with it and uh you know if i didn't want it to get somewhere to stay permanent it would probably fall there and get there great but you know it is what it is so i can also put the wiper blades and the wiper arms also in the description if you guys are interested in swapping those out First part of this is we're just gonna need to remove the wipers. So one way to remember it is these the the actual windshield has a little line on it. So that's the, kind of the area where you want it. You can see somebody put that arm back on at some point, tilted it down too low. There needs to be a definitive starting point and end point for the wipers. So what I like to do is I like to get the wiper when I put it back on the bottom of the arm to kind of do it there. And I'll walk you through how to install the arms again. Now one thing I will tell you is. I've had some people in the past say, well, I went to take this off. You told me it was a 15 mil and it wasn't. Listen, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to tell you what these tools are. And this truck doesn't look like anybody's ever put any aftermarket nuts or bolts on it so far. But there is always that possibility. There's also something where they could have changed something just because of run of parts. I wouldn't say that's probably highly likely, but it is possible. But nonetheless, let's remove the wipers first. So you're gonna need to go get a little flat blade and try and pick up this prong. You may need to keep this door. You can buy these separate. So if yours are broken and gone, you can reorder some of those. That nut right there is a 15 mil. Now, we're gonna pop this open before the hood's open, but don't try and take that nut off with the hood down. You'll end up beating this up and scratching it. There's also one over there. So once you get this raised, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter and I would suggest a short um, socket so you don't have it. An issue with it, there is this windshield washer fluid it connects down there you may have to reuse these some of these pieces so be real careful so anytime you have like any type of vacuum line or hose or anything like that on a vehicle it's been on there for a little bit just try and get it off with your fingers because if you're trying to use pliers they're probably going to tear it and it's not going to fit right so when it's down on there give it a good twist and i'll tell you as if you're a full-time mechanic you probably got some strong hands and some strong fingers uh, but you know, nonetheless, twist it, twist it, twist it, and then pull up, it comes right off. You're going to do the same thing over there. All right, guys. So once we get the nuts off there, these little plastic rubbery looking panels, they're just on by little spring clips or were in this circumstance. So this is where I can find that somebody's taking this cowling off before made for a windshield. Maybe they lost the clips or whatever, but yeah, this if you order new ones, it may not come with clips, so just keep that in mind. You may have to reuse those. You're just basically gonna bring out the handy dandy poultry tool, like I've always said. I love this thing. I'll put a description in there. Put it in there, pop it up. It basically comes up, and then set it aside. If you need a part number, it'll be in there. And one thing I will tell you is, anytime you're prying though, do not pry with anything against your glass. I know that seems like an obvious thing, guys, but I do have to disclose that you don't do that. Okay, next thing is use that same tool, pry this loose. You're gonna wanna hold it, bend it back like this where it locks out. And then again, before you chuck anything, set it aside, make sure your new parts fit, and we'll call that good. So we're gonna get the other one off. Again, so just give it a little wiggle while you're prying up on the plastic only. It shouldn't take that much pressure to pull these off. Again, these are still fully functional. They just look like crap. And um, so 
but again don't chuck them yet just in case you need to reuse the nozzles or the hoses or whatnot obviously that we got new wiper blades and uh, so we'll set those aside now from here uh, we can see we have that probably looks like an eight or a seven I'll clarify that in a minute and then there are some spring clips underneath the hood so we're gonna go to the other side we're gonna pop off all right so we're gonna pop off this other side so I just get a, a leading edge up like that pop it off slide off the antenna set that side because that's basically junk and so we can see from here that you know it's got some uh, little areas where it's probably stuck down this to me looks like a a star we'll get a flashlight on that but that is probably going to be a torx head right there and then we'll take off the uh, eight millimeter on the other side there's nothing across the top and while you're in here guys this is a good opportunity i'm going to show you there's probably even though you think this grate's really small probably bugs and leaves have worked their way down into there we're going to clean up this whole area again i've seen people put new pieces on a crap foundation so i mean this is a good time to clean down around this ugly edge of the windshield and again this probably had a new windshield in it just because it says this pgw um, typically it would have a gm marking on it and so these guys they'll come in they'll break something so when you get a new windshield installed, make sure you check their work. I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose, but if they broke it, get them to replace it because this cowling itself is uh, it's about $150. So, all right, let's get the other stuff off. All right, so the little bolt that I showed you over there was a seven mil. This Torx is a Torx 15. Again, this little set, super cheap on Amazon, and uh, you're gonna need that to work on 90% of the stuff that's that's around these days. So again, there is a Torx there. So we're gonna loosen up everything that's on the outside of the hood so then we can raise the hood. So again, that was a seven millimeter. And again, if you're gonna be using something short, remember the handle's swinging, don't hit the glass. All right, so once we get under here, guys, you can basically see we have these little spring clips. Now again, as you take these off, be aware they have some tension. So the last thing you wanna do is drop one of these down into the engine compartment, you're gonna need it to reattach this piece here in a second. So what I like to do is get a real small flat blade screwdriver. We're gonna put it underneath this edge right here. To assist in that, you can use another screwdriver to kind of pick up this back edge. But then again, you don't then have a finger to help so you don't shoot it down the engine compartment. All right, so the next part is, you're gonna to have to kind of climb up in here and you're gonna to to pop up the middle and pull it straight out. And then once you get out there, then you can bend the corner around. Now keeping in mind, as we pull this out, you have your water line here for your uh, windshield washer fluid. So once you get to this point, stop, because you're gonna need to push these back down to the hole. These little water connectors, they'll focus right here, so. So on here guys, there are two little spring clips. Now you can use a socket. You'll need a seven millimeter deep well. And I don't know if I've ever shown any of you guys, but you can push it over the top and you'll usually push down these prongs then you can pull from the backside. Or in this circumstance, I didn't have one of my deep wells handy. I just got a screwdriver, push one tab down and then I pulled it from the bottom. So once we get those loose, we're gonna pull that loose from there. And then we're gonna go over there and repeat the same process again the new kit or the new um, windshield cowl did not come with new little spray nozzles so these are going to be reused but the new wipers did come with the new tubing all right so relieve those we're going to pull this out and there is one other clip right here i want to show you for demonstration purposes but i mean so there's the number guys, part number 258-65603. This will be for 2008 to 2010 specifically. It should fit the 11, 12, 13, but there was a mid-model refresh that changed a few things. Again, if you look online, there are so many different ones that'll say they fit for this. You, you, there's even one on Amazon, or not Amazon, AutoZone.com that says it can fit as a doorman. However, 
that when I went and looked at it was not the right look it had a completely different look to it so this was all one piece of grate but you can just see it's kind of old and crappy looking so we may have to reuse this piece I don't know let's go check out how much craps in there so we can see there's a lot of dirt here a lot of dirt there some pine needles so this one's not as gross on this side let's go check on the other side oh yeah so see all that crap back there again that's all just organic stuff it's probably done it's rotting and stinking smelling stuff but i'll show you how nice i'm going to clean this up here guys and again you don't have to if that doesn't float your boat you just want to get this thing replaced you don't really care that's up to you but keep in mind that every time that gets wet again it can kind of put off a musty odor and then this is where your fresh air intake comes in too so if you have somebody that has allergies and some of that stuff is might, might trigger their allergies to get you know kind of jacked up it's kind of a crappy way to spend a trip but you know we're gonna clean that up and we'll get a vacuum back in there I can see even pine needles sitting there that's where your fresh air intake is back there and again we're just gonna get all this out of here clean it up make it look nice and then uh, again I'm all about a good foundation getting it back on there so we'll see in just a few guys all right guys so I actually decided to back this bad boy out and get it cleaned out so you can see in there that's supposed to be white now that sealant that caulking looking material that that can be yellow just from time and obviously if you have a darker colored vehicle um who knows but see how i got this lower piece right here cleaned off you can actually run a hose in there just be careful when you're spraying this way you're okay when you're spraying back this way remember the fresh air intake is right there so you don't want to put a hose in there but you can spray it from a distance and uh, it'll run out the back side of the fender down here. So, again, I even put a little bit of polish on here. All of this stuff will come off if you really want to spend time, all of this discoloring. But the reason why I take that off is, if you've seen vehicles of old, sometimes you'll see this, this cowling looks like it's been under forever, and you'll see rust seeping up. Well, if you go places where there's a lot of dirt and a lot of grime, and we found that, and all these people really use this truck was for camping, uh, you can see how much crap it built up. Well, all that st stuff is just sitting there sanding the truck down then it starts rusting. Then you start having other issues. So it is, I've had people say, ah, oh, that's stupid. I wouldn't clean that up. I wouldn't even change that piece. Well, that's, that's to, you know, to each person if they want to even bother with it. For me, it's ugly. It's detracting. I'm going to fix it. And while I'm in here, I'm getting rid of that, that, uh, uh, water ring right here that was at the top of the cowling. I'm gonna polish in there, I'm gonna clean out all the pine needles, and I'm gonna get it back nice. All right, so you can see how clean everything is, even the motors get cleaned off and everything. So we're gonna basically just finish cleaning up the glass, then we'll we'll reinstall that cowling piece. I am waiting on the two ends, but again, those can be just be snapped on at any point. So not a big deal there. All right, guys, before we install this, we can see that GM did give us a new piece of uh, nozzle here and I will tell you this a lot of the Dorman stuff a lot of the aftermarket stuff it will fit but they're going to require to reuse a lot of pieces and this one literally has the new nozzles the rubber here um, even has the Chevy marking in there which is pretty cool uh, this piece is going to look real nice in here it even gave us the new Christmas tree uh, so really all in all we're good there again I got the wipe arms from GM so those are going to look good they're going to have that quality I'm not knocking aftermarket stuff. I'm just saying that I, I know the quality is not the same. So I'm going to remove the line in the truck real quick, and then we're going to set this back in. All right, so the water line is going to cut, or the windshield washer fluid is going to come on done right there. It's a little, not a T, but a little nipple. You will have to kind of just bend the edges, but I mean, look how good that looks in there. I wish we had the ends to wrap it up, but we're going to get everything lined up here, and then... Uh, We'll, once we get the ends, we'll, we'll have the finished product look to it. But we're going to line up the Christmas tree here in the middle. So I'm going to climb up there. We're going to get that kind of picked up and shoved down. That's where it's going to latch. All right, guys. So we got everything on here. We got the pins on here. So the other one was so grody and stuff. I actually didn't even see that this one actually had at some point an extra body screw on both sides. And again, it appears when I was cleaning this out, I actually found a new razor blade underneath there so i'm guessing 
somebody uh, swapped a windshield out at some point, which would be normal, and didn't do it. Well, I have extra body screws, extra washers, and everything like that. So here's a little sidebar. If you guys grew up and your dad, your grandpa, and all, and your grandma, and your mom, they always had little jars where they saved extra pins and extra needles and extra washers and nuts and bolts. Well, they grew up in a time where you had nothing that could be wasted. And if you're a guy or gal and you're, you get a bed set and there's extra washers, sometimes they send you extra pieces, throw them in a little coffee can, throw them in a Tupperware, throw them in a sour cream container you cleaned out. Because I'm telling you, it's always going to come back. Now, you can go out and buy all kinds of bulk stuff, but sometimes you just need one little washer, all right? Two little washers, and you had those from another thing. So, waste not, what not, guys. Um, again, that's one thing that I've always appreciated. We grew up with very little, and um, watching my parents save and, and really just, you know, to this day, my dad has hardware in his garage that my mom and him had saved, and I go down there and fix something and it's in there. So today it played true. I had my washers at this. We're going to put an extra screw in there. Now you can just say screw that. Literally screw it. Or I'm not going to put anything in because I don't care. That's up to you. This is plastic. You don't need to torque on it. But just have an extra screw in there. Could be preventing any type of reverberating rattle that you might have heard. It could be wind that's whistling through stuff. Again, this thing seals pretty darn good. But at the end of the day, we're going to put the screws in. All right, that is looking really good, guys. Again, it's cleaned up in here now. Seals good against the windshield. So now we're gonna go get the wipers again. We're gonna use this little hash mark to line it up. And uh, what you do is the uh, the windshield wipers, I'll actually show you, have a little spline on them, just like you can see the little, little lines on this, that over there on the shaft. And if you just kind of get it lined up, then push it down, then you're good to go. All right, so remember what side you took off of what, guys? These are the pinch tab type wipers. Again, these are the old ones. They just look dingy, but the new ones didn't come with that little plastic flap. So then, and the reason why is look, here's like I was telling you earlier, I forgot that I ordered these doormen um, because the GM ones could not get here soon enough. So pretty, pretty easy. Just remember which one, mark it when it comes in. The 42668 Dorman is going to be driver's side, and then the 667, the 42667, I'll put a link in there, that's your pasture side. These wipers are not Michelin or Bosch or anything, but I've bought these before for other cars on there. They're pretty cheap. I can't even pronounce the name. I'll put those in the description, and they're going to be pretty easy. So when everything's new, it goes together pretty nice. And I'll show you here real quick. So the wiper arm itself has this little swing tab on it, this steel. You put the top of the wiper in first, you pull it in the back, then you're gonna squeeze these two little tabs in as you pull back and push down. And they'll go up in there and snap on the sides. See that right there? So you can do it one-handed. Once you get it all on, then you can remove the little safety thing here. I've already put on the driver's side one. And again, you can see that black mark that's where you want it to line up with. And you don't have to put those little trap doors on the, on the nuts and bolts, but I'm going to because I like the look of it. So I think it finishes out, but I gotta clean those up because those are nasty. All right, so that's what they're supposed to look like. I always put them at the top of that dash because trying to get them in the perfectly in the middle work it pretty hard. Pull off the cover. And then I'll end up putting the 15 millimeter uh, nuts back on the caps and then the caps. And that job is done, guys. We swap this out, the hood cowling. It looks dang good. Once we get the new, these faded out pieces that were all gross and busted too, we'll get those on there. Get the rubber caps. Hopefully today we'll snap those back in. Again, those are just going to be pushed down and clip in. And if you don't have these clips, guys, um, you can get them at Checkers. Or Sorry, I keep saying Checkers. That's been going a long time. O'Reilly. But there are kits that you can buy on the Zon that just sell all kinds of body fasteners and clips and everything like that. I'll put a link to those because you get like three or four at the local port store. And they're made by the same, probably the exact same people, but you, you get like three. And the kit is like five or six, seven bucks for those three. And you can get a kit with like 20 or 30 of them for like nine bucks. So other than that, hopefully that will get you guys situated on how to change out the hood cowling. Don't forget to hook up your washer lines. 
put down your pieces, snap them in good. And guys, I do appreciate you being here. I know we're doing a lot of work on this guy. We have Kong over there. He's just chilling every day. We got some content coming up on my new daily over there, the um, Kia Sorento. And yeah, this guy's coming right along. We're replacing it. Just a lot of stuff that looked like crap. So do check in the feed, search in the bar, see how much 08 stuff we have up on there. And I'll put some, a few other links in there to some of the other videos that are associated with the front end here. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys.